Hey kids, last night we got this great story. We were out and about in amongst the tents while you're all asleep and we we're looking for bandicoots. They're so cool. These bandicoots dig for truffles. And if these mammals didn't dig for these little truffles, it would take five years to grow this forest. These little bandicoots help the forest grow fast and grow strong. They like help out with the immune system. So they dig the fungi off the roots and eat it for their supper. So at night, we, we went in and we filmed one of the bandicoots digging down for the truffles. It was so fantastic. Normally we just get him on the run. But this one, we had him really comfortable, really close to us, and he was just playing. Should we go and have a look? Hey, hey, where are we going today? Hey, hey, yeah, we're going to play. Hey, hey, where are we going to play? Yeah, we're going to play where the wild things play. We're going to play where the wild things play. We're going to play where the wild things play. Hey kids, wasn't that bandicoot fantastic? Now we're in studio, we're gonna get down and draw him. So the first thing you need to know is we're gonna start with the little shapes and we're gonna start with, uh, then we're gonna build our shapes up. We get the eyes, we're gonna get the ears on him and do some of the detail. So um, firstly, we're gonna get down his long, long nose that he digs up those truffles with. So I'm gonna sit down here and just draw a little triangle for his nose and I'll just put a little line under there for his mouth. Then we'll put his nose on the end and we'll do the back of his head here as a circle. Now once we've got his head on, we're gonna to have to do his body. Now if you notice when he was grubbing around, he's got a fairly circular body. So if I just did a nice big circle, a big half circle coming around here like this, just nice and softly, I'll get his whole hip in here with another half circle. There you go. Now he's got those little grubby paws like this. He's gonna dig around for the truffles. So if I just put those little paws in the front here, and they're like big carrots or triangles with little claws on the end. So I'll bring his chest down here and his little tummy in, and I'll draw another claw on the end there. So he's starting to really look like a bandicoot now. He's really cool, he's grubbing around. The only thing missing at the moment is he needs his ears. So they're upside down teardrops. So I've got to think of myself as if the water's flowing up and I just shadow it behind with another teardrop. Now that gives me my positioning for the eyes. Now the eyes, I did this circle before, so I'm gonna put the eyes just on the edge of this circle and I'm gonna have them looking forward so the eyes are going to be more oval vertically, so he's looking forward. And there's going to be some little muscles behind there, a little mouth, and I'm, you're sort of getting the idea. And we come down into his little feet. These are a little bit like a kangaroo, or I call them your T-bone steak. So get his little legs in there, and there'll be another one just behind him. Now, bandicoots often fight and bite their tail off. The one that we saw had a real full tail. And I've often seen them scratch their tail backwards and forwards to mark their territory. So let's do the tail here now. Now I'm just gonna do a little mount for the tail, and it's gonna come round, and just like a kangaroo, it sits on the ground. All these marsupials and all these mammals, they all have a similar structure here in Australia. So it is gonna look a little bit like a kangaroo. Okay. But as you notice, he doesn't have long paws for bouncing. He scurries like a rabbit. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build the drawing. So when we come down to building the drawing, we're gonna build up some detail. So I'm gonna start building some fur. I like this line, so I'm gonna build some fur up here. And I'm gonna work my way around, choosing to go in different directions. Now, on this ear, I'm gonna do a bit of a smooth skin. Your ear has all these funny little shapes in it. He's a mammal. He has little funny shapes in it. And I'm just gonna move around with some fur on the outside. And I'll put some little hairs in there. I'm gonna come down the back of my circle here. And might put a little bit of fur coming in here, but I'm gonna work back around that big arc. That's the way. 
You can change position to get better angles so that all your lines are fairly consistent. As you can see, all the hairs follow his leg down and under his tummy it might be a bit fluffy. Now the back of his leg, follow it down and then follow that fluff from in here to here. Back up there. Now the tail is like skin. So we do a smooth line around there and really highlight which lines you want. If you want to use an eraser, you can. But really, I try to leave all the underdrawing in there so it shows all your work. Don't be afraid of that. I'll do some little lines in here and some little furry bits. It's a little bit like a rat tail. Might have some little splodges. And... So I quickly work around my picture, trying to get all the details in. Put a little bit of a shine on the eye for the lights that we're using. Gives him a little bit of personality if you do a little reflection on the eye. And just colour it in. If you do a really good eye, with lots of little reflections and lots of little bits and pieces, little, little bits of hair right at the top of the eye, give him an eyebrow, he works really well. As you can see, we just come down here with the fur and I'm going to get lighter and fluffier as I go through his chest. I might put some throat and highlight some of the facial features. Now he's got some really strong claws. These are used for digging with little pads underneath them. And the hair, you might notice is shorter on the paws. Going back into the longer body hair. So again, I will draw what I think is long and short fur, long and short strokes as I work around the drawing. When the fur changes colour, I'll change my strokes. When there's shapes that change, I'll change my strokes again. And I'll try and build up some shape. I'll just finish him off now. Put a little bit of shadow back there. Put a claw in here, maybe two, one. Couple more under here, give him a bit of shadow under there, a bit of depth. Now I'm just going to do a light little shadow under his body, give him a little bit of depth. I think there's your bandicoot. Now you can touch him up a little bit, give him a few whiskers, a few whiskers above his eyes, a few little marks. But really, that's pretty much it. Bandicoot, I hope you enjoyed the drawing today. Get outside, get in the outdoors and go have a play.